A chemical equation is the symbolic representation of a chemical reaction in the form of symbols and formulae, wherein the reactant entities are given on the left-hand side and the product entities on the right-hand side. The coefficients next to the symbols and formulae of entities are the absolute values of the stoichiometric numbers. The first chemical equation was diagrammed by Jean Bégin in 1615. Topic: <laughs> Formation of chemical reaction. A chemical equation consists of the chemical formulas of the reactants, the starting substances, and the chemical formula of the products, substances formed in the chemical reaction. The two are separated by an arrow symbol. Display style right arrow, usually read as yields, and each individual substance's chemical formula is separated from others by a plus sign. As an example, the equation for the reaction of hydrochloric acid with sodium can be denoted 2HCl plus 2 Na2 2 sodium chloride plus H2. This equation would be read as 2HCl plus 2 Na yields 2 sodium chloride and H2. But, for equations involving complex chemicals, rather than reading the letter and its subscript, the chemical formulas are read using IUPAC nomenclature. Using IUPAC nomenclature, this equation would be read as, "...hydrochloric acid plus sodium yields sodium chloride and hydrogen gas." This equation indicates that sodium and HCl react to form sodium chloride and H2. It also indicates that two sodium molecules are required for every two hydrochloric acid molecules and the reaction will form two sodium chloride molecules and one diatomic molecule of hydrogen gas molecule for every two hydrochloric acid and two sodium molecules that react. The stoichiometric coefficients, the numbers in front of the chemical formulas, result from the law of conservation of mass and the law of conservation of charge. C. Balancing chemical equation. Section below for more information. Topic: <laughs> Common symbols. Symbols are used to differentiate between different types of reactions. To denote the type of reaction, equals display style equals symbol is used to denote a stoichiometric relation. Display style right arrow symbol is used to denote a net forward reaction. Display style right left arrows symbol is used to denote a reaction in both directions. Minus minus display style CE symbol is used to denote an equilibrium. The physical state of chemicals is also very commonly stated in parentheses after the chemical symbol, especially for ionic reactions. When stating physical state, S denotes a solid, L denotes a liquid, G denotes a gas, and AQ denotes an aqueous solution. If the reaction requires energy, it is indicated above the arrow. A capital Greek letter delta, delta, display style delta, is put on the reaction arrow to show that energy in the form of heat is added to the reaction. H nu, display style H nu, is used if the energy is added in the form of light. Other symbols are used for other specific types of energy or radiation. Topic: Balancing chemical equations. The law of conservation of mass dictates that the quantity of each element does not change in a chemical reaction. Thus, each side of the chemical equation must represent the same quantity of any particular element. Likewise, the charge is conserved in a chemical reaction. Therefore, the same charge must be present on both sides of the balanced equation. 
One balances a chemical equation by changing the scalar number for each chemical formula. Simple chemical equations can be balanced by inspection, that is, by trial and error. Another technique involves solving a system of linear equations. Balanced equations are written with smallest whole number coefficients. If there is no coefficient before a chemical formula, the coefficient is 1. The method of inspection can be outlined as putting a coefficient of 1 in front of the most complex chemical formula and putting the other coefficients before everything else such that both sides of the arrows have the same number of each atom. If any fractional coefficient exists, multiply every coefficient with the smallest number required to make them whole, typically the denominator of the fractional coefficient for a reaction with a single fractional coefficient. As an example, seen in the above image, the burning of methane would be balanced by putting a coefficient of 1 before the CH4. 1CH4 plus O2CO2 plus H2 Since there is one carbon on each side of the arrow, the first atom carbon is balanced. Looking at the next atom hydrogen, the right-hand side has two atoms, while the left-hand side has four. To balance the hydrogens, two goes in front of the H2O, which yields 1 CH4 plus O2 CO2 plus 2 H2O inspection of the last atom to be balanced oxygen shows that the right hand side has 4 atoms while the left hand side has 2 it can be balanced by putting a 2 before O2 giving the balanced equation CH4 plus 2O2 CO2 plus 2H2 uh, This equation does not have any coefficients in front of CH4 and CO2, since a coefficient of 1 is dropped. <laughs> <laughs> Matrix method Generally, any chemical equation involving J different molecules can be written as J equals 1 J new J R J equals 0 Display style sum underscore j equals one carrot j new underscore j r underscore j equals zero, where r j is the symbol for the j th molecule and new j is the stoichiometric coefficient for the j th molecule, positive for products, negative for reactants, or vice versa. A properly balanced chemical equation will then obey j equals 1 j a i j new j equals 0 Display style sum underscore j equals one carrot j a underscore i j new underscore j equals zero where the composition matrix A i j is the number of atoms of element i in molecule j. Any vector which, when operated upon by the composition matrix yields a zero vector, is said to be a member of the kernel or null space of the operator. Any member nu j of the null space of A i j will serve to balance a chemical equation involving the set of j molecules comprising the system. A preferred stoichiometric vector is one for which all of its elements can be converted to integers with no common divisors by multiplication by a suitable constant. Generally, the composition matrix is degenerate, that is to say, not all of its rows will be linearly independent. In other words, the rank junior of the composition matrix is generally less than its number of columns J. By the rank nullity theorem, the null space of Aij will have J junior dimensions and this number is called the nullity of Aij. 
The problem of balancing a chemical equation then becomes the problem of determining the Jn dimensional null space of the composition matrix. It is important to note that only for Jn equals 1, will there be a unique solution. For Jn greater than 1 there will be an infinite number of solutions to the balancing problem, but only Jn of them will be independent. If Jn independent solutions to the balancing problem can be found, then any other solution will be a linear combination of these solutions. If Jn equals 0, there will be no solution to the balancing problem. Techniques have been developed to quickly calculate a set of Jn independent solutions to the balancing problem and are superior to the inspection and algebraic method in that they are determinative and yield all solutions to the balancing problem. Topic: <laughs> Ionic equations. An ionic equation is a chemical equation in which electrolytes are written as dissociated ions. Ionic equations are used for single and double displacement reactions that occur in aqueous solutions. For example, in the following precipitation reaction Calcium chloride 2 plus 2 Agno 3 Ca No 3 2 plus 2 silver 1 chloride Display style Ce calcium chloride plus two silver one nitrate to calcium nitrate plus two silver one chloride V. The full ionic equation is Ca two plus plus two Cl minus plus two Ag plus plus 2 no 3 minus ca 2 plus plus 2 no 3 minus plus 2 silver 1 chloride Display style C E C A squared plus plus two C L carrot plus two egg plus plus two N O three carrot to C A squared plus plus two N O three carrot plus two silver one chloride V. In this reaction, the C A two plus and the N O three minus ions remain in solution and are not part of the reaction. That is, these ions are identical on both the reactant and product side of the chemical equation. Because such ions do not participate in the reaction, they are called spectator ions. A net ionic equation is the full ionic equation from which the spectator ions have been removed. The net ionic equation of the preceding reactions is 2 Cl minus plus 2 ag plus 2 silver 1 chloride display style ce 2 cl caret plus 2 ag plus 2 2 silver 1 chloride v or in reduced balanced form ag plus plus Cl minus silver one chloride. Display style Ce ag plus plus Cl caret to silver one chloride V. In a neutralization or acid base reaction, the net ionic equation will usually be H plus Aq plus O minus Aq H two O L. There are a few acid base reactions that produce a precipitate in addition to the water molecule shown above. 
An example is the reaction of barium hydroxide with phosphoric acid, which produces not only water but also the insoluble salt barium phosphate. In this reaction, there are no spectator ions, so the net ionic equation is the same as the full ionic equation. 3 Ba O 2 plus 2 H 3 PO 4 6 H 2 O plus Ba three PO four two Display style CE three barium hydroxide plus two H three PO four to six H two O plus barium phosphate V three Ba two plus plus Six O six minus plus H plus plus two PO four three minus phosphate six H two O plus ba 3 po 4 2 barium phosphate Display style CE three ba two plus plus six O H carrot plus six H plus plus underbrace CE two PO four carrot three underscore CE phosphate CE to six H two O plus underbrace barium phosphate V underscore barium tilde phosphate Double displacement reactions that feature a carbonate reacting with an acid have the net ionic equation Two H plus plus CO three two minus carbonate H two O plus CO two Display style CE two H plus plus under brace CE CO three squared underscore CE carbonate CE two H two O plus CO two carrot. If every ion is a spectator ion, then there was no reaction, and the net ionic equation is null. Generally, if Zj is the multiple of elementary charge on the JTH molecule, charge neutrality may be written as J equals one J Z J nu J equals zero. Display style sum underscore j equals one carrot j z underscore j new underscore j equals zero, where the new j are the stoichiometric coefficients described above. The z j may be incorporated as an additional row in the Aij matrix described above, and a properly balanced ionic equation will then also obey j equals 1 j a i j nu j equals 0 display style sum underscore j equals 1 caret j a underscore i j nu underscore j equals 0 